All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Barashim Yahweh Shai. Uh, double honors to Elder Apostles, a great millstone, and salutations to Akim, teach all truth and sincerity. Um, this is a, um, I sit down on this image in my uh, grandmother's Bible uh, that I took a picture of. It shows the image of Caesar, uh, Cesare Trez Borgia. Um, and it shows him with lambs and, you know, a halo around his head and, uh, a staff and he's, uh, you know, walking and, uh, in a field and a herd of lambs and a herd of lambs, but it just shows, you know, the, um, the iconoclasm, the, uh, the, um, the whiting of images that the so-called white man who's Esau has done has created um, a um, a different look of of the man you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, which um, Yahweh Shai, his real name is Yahweh Shai. He just look like a pale face, you know, white man. He, he's a dark-skinned Judite of the tribe of Judah. And the so-called white man, he has, um, you know, whited over the true images of the Israelites, of the true images of the uh, the son of man who's, who's Yahweh Shai. You know, and it says that in Job 9 and 24, which I'm going to get right now. Um, but my last thing I'm going to say is... Uh, this image was drawn, was um, painted. This image came about in the 14th century. Uh, that's when uh, Caesar Borgia was um, was uh, created. It was created during the time of the Renaissance, which that's in the 14th century. You know, so that was during the Renaissance and. Um, See, Cesare and I think it's Leonardo da Vinci. It was it was a famous painter that made this image, and uh, he completely white uh made the image of, of the man being called um, Jesus Christ. He he made him look white when he's really not white. <laughs> he doesn't look like an Edomite, you know. He looks like uh, a dark skinned Judite of the tribe of Judah, you know. So anyway, um, let me get some, some scriptures. Uh, um, so, so this is uh Job nine and twenty four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the face of the judges thereof. If not, where who is he? So. The so-called white man, he's the wicked, cause um the so-called white man is the only, only um the only I I believe the only uh, only other person that's ruling the entire earth, you know, like um he's the only one that's in power that's ruling the entire earth, and um you know. He has his image is on the the dollar bills. Um, he 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 funds both wars. Uh, like we're in the midst of World War Three, and you know the so-called white man who's Esau is funding that right now, um, because he's on both sides, you know, and you know. But anyway, they. To they they're running the world. They're at the top. They're they're over um, everything in the world. They they um, reaping the benefits of their kingdom right now, and um, they they portray themselves as the Israelites, as the, um, the the Vikings, as the Egyptians. They they. They they treat, betray themselves everything but Esau, you know. They 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 betray themselves 
over every every biblical character in the Bible except Esau, because you know they don't want, they try to run away from their heritage, from their their um their judgment basically, but they um that's what they try to portray themselves as. Um, to um, my next scripture is um First Maccabees uh. Three and forty-eight, um, and it says, uh, "And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of the image." Like I said, in the scriptures, um, they try to put, which the book of the law is the holy Bible. They try to portray themselves as everything in the Bible is Esau. They they don't want they run away from that that heritage of Edom. Because that's who they are. They are the biblical Edomites. You know, they're the Hebrew Edomites. They they run away from that, you know. And that, because they don't want to experience that harsh slavery and then be cut off from existence after a thousand years, you know. But, but yeah, they cover up the images of the true judges of the earth, which is um, the so-called, uh, which which are the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, those are the true judges of the earth, more than likely the men of the Lord of the nation of Israel, who are uh, of the 144, the elect, are the true judges of the earth. And they cut them, they, they, they uh, cover those images up, saying that the true judges of the earth are the so-called white people, when that's not true. So, um, to explain to um to um to show that Yahweh Shai doesn't look like this doesn't like look like um this image so, hold on uh hold on I had it it's locky <laughs> Hold on. It doesn't look like this image at all. Because this image does need uh, a foot on it. Like it needs it's it needs to be stumped out like we do at the line. We stump out Cesare all the time. You know, when, and when we get the chance we, we put our foot on them. Because you know that's what these so called white people need. They need their foot our foot up foot on them, you know. <laughs> I was gonna use the other word, but I thought not to. <laughs> But I'm thinking about it. We need to put our foot far up somewhere. <laughs> but anyway, um, this image is not the image of the true um, son of the Heavenly Father, the son of Yahweh. It's not the true uh, image of Yahweh, Yahweh's son, which is Yahweh Shai. So I'm going to read uh, Revelations uh, 1 verse 1, and I'm going to skip to 13. And then... Uh, so, uh, uh, Revelations 1, verse 1. The revelation of Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, which Yahweh gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must sh shortly come to pass. He sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant, John. So, that tells you the, um, I tell you this, the revealing of the image the true image of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, the the son of Yahweh, and you know this is the true image. So I'm gonna skip down to thirteen, um, Revelations one thirteen. In the midst of the seven uh, candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and the girt about the pass with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool as white as snow and his eyes were as a flame of fire and his feet like unto fine brass as if they burnt in a furnace and his voice as the sound of many waters so um Yahushua's eyes were um as a flame of fire but you know Yahushua he drunk he was a uh he drunk a lot of wine when he was on the scene um when he was on the earth he 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 had he was drinking a lot of wine and you know his eyes were red uh from time to time he wasn't a a drunk a drunker but he drunk wine 
as as one of his drinks, you know, when he was on the uh, scene, because it says his eyes will be red and his teeth white with milk. I'm paraphrasing a scripture in Genesis 49, I believe it's verse 12. And um, and if you if you um know where that if you if you want to go look at the Genesis 49 and 12, you can go do that yourself. I, I just paraphrased it. Um, for you to maybe go look it up, but um, but truthfully, I understand it was Genesis four nine twelve. It says his eyes shall be red, and his teeth white with milk. Um, they also called him gluttonous and a wine bibber in the Gospels. They called him gluttonous and a wine bibber, but he drank wine as one of his um. That was his red wine was his drink to drink. You know that was his you know, favorite drink to drink, you know, so, but, yeah, he, it says, um, his feet, like, unto fine brass, as if they, they burnt in a furnace, so if you burn uh, a brown, uh, if you burn a penny, you burn a bunch of pennies in a fire, won't they turn dark brown or you burn some brass in the fire one turn dark brown so Yahusha was a dark skinned uh man and with woolly hair you know woolly uh white hair because um he he prophesied for three years and he became uh he had great he had like woolly hair that became um uh, started becoming white and gray as he was um you know, during his, his ministry. So, um, he was a dark skinned man with woolly hair, um, woolly white hair too. Um, so that this image is, um, completely, um, this image is, uh, this image is, uh, completely false. And, you know, has nothing to do with Revelations 13 through 15 because it, it's completely false. And, you know, Esau and the so-called white man made this image in the 1400s and uh, showed this image to our people during slavery. You know, and our people um, have this image in their house. And, you know, some have them in their Bibles, you know. And they they praise this image, and which is that's idolatry, you know, and that that that's that's really um, idolatry. But um, and another scripture I get, Yahweh it looks just like his father, um, uh, which that's in Colossians, uh, uh, and. That's in Colossians uh, 14. Why did I go to Corinthians? Sloppy. Um, Colossians 1 and 14. Um, this is uh, Colossians 1 and 14. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even forgiveness of sins, who is the image of the invisible uh, power, the firstborn of every creature. Um, so Yahweh Shai is the image of Yahweh, the, 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 the invisible, uh, power, invisible, uh, you know, God, um, uh, Yahweh is, um, the, uh, Yahweh Shai is the image of Yahweh and, uh, cause Yahweh, Yahweh Shai looks just like his father. Uh, he, he looks just like his father too, um. To uh, get that depiction of um, Yahweh, um, let me start. This is Daniel 7, verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery furnace, a fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. A fiery stream. You issued, um, came forth from before him, thousands and thousands ministered unto him, and 
Um, Salaki. Um, but Salaki. Well, I, I didn't, I didn't lose my place. Um, it it basically explains itself in um, Daniel seven and nine. It says, "I beheld the thrones were cast down in ancient days to sit whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head was like pool wool. His thrones was like the fiery furnace, and his wheels a burning fire." So, um, uh, Heavenly Father Yahweh, he has woolly hair just like Yahweh Shai. His skin tone. Um, they say that Yahweh is the ultimate Judite. And Yahweh Shai is from the tribe of Judah. Um, but Yahweh is the ultimate Judite. So that that does a lot too. Um, because Yahweh Shai looks just like his father. He has the spinning image of his father. And Yahweh is the ultimate Judite. So, you know, Yahweh is um, basically skin tone is dark skin as as uh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is. So, um, and my last scripture to get is uh, Revelations 11 and 8. It says, um, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Because Yahweh Shai was crucified in Jerusalem, but they crucified, came over here by putting up the image of Cesare and portraying that as the Son of Man. When truthfully, um, Yahweh Shai looks more like, um, uh, hold on, he looks more like this. And I'm going to end it with this. Yahusha looks more like uh this is a um this is a um an artist depiction of what Yahusha mostly will look like, but this is closest as it can be to what Yahusha looks like. Like this is a closest um what he might look like in person well not in person but like what he looked like um what what it pertains to that revelations uh one and a skip down 13 and 15 this explains what he might look like because like if if it if i see this this look right here when i actually see your house shot i'm not gonna be surprised because you know if you look at this you see but if you look at the renaissance that nothing it doesn't look anything like what revelation is talking about but this is more not i wouldn't say accurate but this is more like a something you could like say yeah he probably looks um close to this but not close because you know you can look at a picture of somebody but until you get up close and personal to them you're not going to actually see um truthfully um what they look like until you get up and close and personal to them and see them you know in person so this is a a i could say as close as we can get to knowing what yahweh shah truthfully looks like so um so i'm gonna say all praise honor and glory to yahweh bashim yasha and double honors to other apostles the great millstone and salutations to you i can teach all truth and sincerity i'm say shalom okay